Arrival is the new film from Denis Villeneuve, director of Prisoners, Enemy, and Sicario, and this movie is about several alien ships coming down to Earth. Now, no one knows what they're here for, and they aren't attacking anything, they're just kind of parking themselves on Earth, and no one knows what they're here for, but on the U.S. side, they call in a linguist played by Amy Adams to try to contact with them, interact, try to find out what their language means, and hopefully find out what they're here for. Are they going to try to kill us, or are they just here to talk? Denis Villeneuve is a director I've been fascinated with for a while now, because Prisoners, Enemy, Sicario, this man literally has failed to make a movie that's bad in any way. So I was interested in this movie on that aspect, and and also the trailer. The marketing for this movie was really good. It also sold me on how this movie is going to be different than your average sci-fi movie where space and lasers and spaceships crashing into each other. Instead, this seemed like a thinking man sci-fi movie, so I was very interested to see how this movie was going to turn out. And oh my god, this is one of the best films of the year. Honestly, Denis, you must have extreme luck with directing because he is, he's so good at directing. And that is honestly one of the best parts about this movie, its direction, because if you look at this movie's story, if it was done in the wrong way, it probably would have bored a lot of people. But Denis Villeneuve actually directed it in a way where it actually hooked the audience members. Because of Denis Villeneuve's direction, you are interested to know what the aliens are here for. You are curious as to if Amy Adams will find out what they want in time. And you also want to learn more about Amy Adams. And speaking of Amy Adams, this might be her best performance of her whole career. She is literally incredible in this movie. Not only is this one of the best female characters of the whole year, but just character in general of the whole year. Because they reveal something about her past earlier in the movie and you feel for her, but then they also find ways to grow her character even more, especially towards the end of the movie where her character just keeps getting better and better. Jeremy Renner is also a character I liked. I heard beforehand that some people thought his character was useless, and I don't really get that. He was a likable guy in this movie, and he also plays a big part in the movie later on. No spoilers, obviously, because it's a big deal, but he's really good. And also Forrest Whitaker, some people said he had an accent that was off-putting. I don't see what was so wrong. I thought he did a good job. He's a great actor, and I thought he did good in this movie. I also loved how the characters interacted with themselves, how the stress is kind of building on them to find out what they're here for, because there are other countries around the world that are making some decisions that don't really align with what they're trying to do. And also, speaking of the interactions, I love the interactions between Amy Adams and the actual aliens where they're between the glass and they're just trying to talk, trying to find out the language. Those scenes were honestly so good to watch. And even the visuals looked very good for this movie. The actual designs for the heptapod I thought were very unique. And I also really just like the ships, how it isn't your usual UFO, it's just this really interesting design. I like that. I also really love this movie because of its story. Not only because of their overall theme, where people around the world are actually putting aside their differences to team up to find out why the aliens are here together as a people, but also because there's a third act reveal that I didn't see coming at all, and when it did, I was like, <gasps> Oh, this movie I think just got like 10 times better. I was honestly really interested to see how they were going to end this movie because I thought they were doing good for like the first hour, so I was hoping they would keep that up till the end, and by God, they found a way to keep it up until the very end. And it really does make the movie a whole lot better. I feel like I could watch this movie all over again and still be interested in the movie and still find that reveal fitting. Overall, Arrival is just one cinematic masterpiece that many people should not miss out on. If you haven't seen Arrival yet, please rush to the theaters to go see it. It honestly is a really important movie, especially with its theme of people putting aside their differences and working together. Not to get too political or real-worldly on here, but we are in a time where we're all kind of at each other because we all have opposing viewpoints. And it's just nice to see a movie that's celebrating us putting aside our differences and working towards a better cause. Overall, I'm gonna give Arrival an A+. This movie is awesome. I loved it. It is so interesting. And Denis Villeneuve has pumped out another incredible movie. Denis, I am so excited for Blade Runner now. Please don't let me down with that movie. You're doing great. Please don't let Blade Runner be your big failure. Please. I'm, I'm praying for you, dude. But if you've seen Arrival, leave in the comments below of what you thought of it. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Jackson Fulcher. See you guys next time.